What's me, Tanuki Abadu G here. We got some Buster Blader shenanigans in this video showing you guys how hard this deck can actually pop off. You know, I feel like Buster Blader as an archetype is like one of the most underappreciated archetypes from the Art V era. I think it's because the fusion can't attack directly. Like, I think that is, uh, I think that definitely holds the archetype back in a lot of people's eyes. So he's playing against Aromas, and before anybody says, yes, I know, Aromas are like literally the worst archetype from this entire Art V era. They're basically the Claudians of Arc V, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this. Don't expect anything impressive from uh, from Aromas because I feel like when you play that deck, you're basically just saying, I wanna auto lose. <laughs> So he activates Twin Twister, and it's really not that big of a deal because he's going to flip over the Destruction Sword Memories that can actually summon a Buster Blader straight from your deck. I don't know why more people don't play this card, especially considering that Graveyard Effect, where it's basically like a Miracle Fusion that activates in the Graveyard. This card is actually pretty nifty. So he's going to discard one of his Destruction Sword Monsters. He's going to get himself a Buster Blader, and here's where the pop-off happens. Well, it's going to begin to happen here. You see he activates the Cradle. That's going to get him his Buster Dragon. Now, the Buster Dragon would die during his next end phase, but no one is dumb enough to leave that monster on the field. You can either Synchro with it, or you can obviously Fuse with it. Just watch what he's going to do. He is about to pull off some epic shit. Like, I have not seen... I'm not sure that I've seen Buster Blader pop off this hard in one turn. So, a lot of the monsters, when you equip them to Buster Blader, they can unequip themselves as special. That way, he gets himself a second copy of Buster Dragon, and each one of these Buster Dragons can summon a Buster Blader from... From the graveyard so he's just going to be getting buster blader for days he turns that into a hot red dragon archfiend abyss then busts out the void ogre dragon he is not done with the buster blade in place yet brings out crimson blader and then finally he decides to fuse right there and he brings out the Destruction Swordsman. Now, obviously, it can't attack directly, but it doesn't matter because it can still do a whole mess of damage. And even though the Aroma Jar can't be destroyed in battle, it's, it's completely irrelevant. He can just negate it with the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss effect, which he does. Then he runs it over with Crimson Blader, and that is definitely an OTK. And even if this guy somehow didn't die, like if this was a tag doing he had 16,000 life points, look at the field he would be dealing with next turn. Like, Crimson Blader's effect would be in play, and he wouldn't be able to special summon any high level monsters void ogre dragon would be negating stuff and then he'd have hot red dragon arch fiend to negate even more stuff so i'm not sure that you'd be able to get around this especially considering you can't use monster effects of any kind because uh when you have the buster dragon all your opponent's monsters become dragon and this guy basically says dragon monsters cannot activate their effects on the field so this is basically like a you better have the wing dragon of raw or this shit is like, this is almost impossible to break this field. I don't know. You need, like, super polymerization or some crazy shit like that. So, anyways, just wanted to show you guys a really cool Buster Blader play, or excuse me, replay, because I don't really get that many of them. And when I get something this awesome, I definitely want to share it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already.